one, as you can see, I've pulled Project Civic SI into the garage and I've just completed a detail on this car and for a 10 year old track car, it actually cleans out pretty well. You can actually see uh, water's beating quite nicely along the paint, uh, but there is one obvious sore spot for me and that is the front headlights on this car because like pretty much every Honda out there, the plastic lenses have kind of faded and lost their luster over the years. And twice now, I've gone the manual route of wet sanding and polishing the headlights, uh, always done by hand with products I had lying around in the garage. And it's worked mildly well, not great, uh, to the point now where after about six months since the last polishing, they've started to fade again. And it just really dulls the appearance of this car that otherwise cleans up really nicely. So I decided to splurge and drop 26 bucks on the Mother's New Lens Headlight Renewal Kit. Now this is one of a few kits you can buy at your local parts store and I wanted to see how well these kits actually work because you can see the claims online that they make things look as good as new but I'm always really doubtful of claims you see on the internet so I wanted to try it for myself. So join along as we see what's gonna happen. So first things first, what's in the box? As I mentioned, this kit costs around 25 bucks at your local parts store and for that money you get the following goods. Mother's Plastic Polish. You'll see these types of polishes in parts stores all the time. You know, they're specifically marketed towards headlight restoration. Then we have this little guy down here. Now what this guy does is it offers an adapter that attaches to a power drill, which is kind of one of the unique offerings here. There are a few kits that are manual and a few kits that require the use of a drill. And for the application here with this particular Civic, I decided to use a one that requires a drill. Sorry, I can't even speak there. Now, with this adapter comes a number of attachments. You have this buffing pad. It's like a uh, styrofoamy piece with a Velcro backing right there. It goes like that. Then you have a number of sanding pads. These sanding pads are just little bits of sand here for felt backing to attach onto this adapter. And you have all manner of different grits up to, it looks like a 3000 grit here, which is like just felt almost. And digging around here at the bottom, we have instructions as well as interestingly, a offer for a 20% off of Expel headlight lens protection kit. You know, these are like a uh, wrap you put over your headlights to make them look good forever underneath the wrap. Um, that's a cool little piece, but not really important for us right now. So let's jump into the instructions and see what we need. So the instructions list are surprisingly detailed and usually just like wet sand, polish, and carry it on. But this particular instruction list, I'll cut to a shot of it, uh, actually has different steps depending on the amount of damage to your headlights. Um, and it covers uh, pitting and major defects if you have like big scratches or like rock chips, things like that. Then reducing the haze, prepping for polish, polishing the lens, as well as general care for the little power ball attachment. So they say this step is optional, but it really isn't. You'd rather have to mask off the area around your headlights or remove them from the vehicle altogether. In this case, I'm gonna mask off the fender, hood, and bumper just around the headlights. And when you're looking at the car dead on, you can see how hazy the headlights have actually gotten. And again, this is after several times trying to do this by hand before. Okay, so we have everything attached here. Now I'm gonna plug in the drill, put some polish here on the middle of the power ball and see how what we get. All right, so I'm pulling the camera back a little bit so you can see uh, the right side headlight has had two quick rounds of polishing done to it and the left side headlight has been untreated. Uh, there is a clear difference. The right side headlight is obviously much clearer, but there is still some haziness and some oxidation to it. Um, 
I guess we have to carry on with some light sandpapering with the rest of the kit. So included in this kit are actually three different grades of sandpaper. There's a P800, a P1500, and a P3000. The lower the number, the coarser or rougher the sandpaper is. Interestingly, though it includes the 800, the instructions actually say to forego that unless your headlights are absolutely hammered and to actually just use the 1500 for this next step of knocking out this haze. That 800 is really for hammered headlights with really heavy pitting and damage in the surface. So we're gonna attach this 1500 grit sandpaper to the little polishing attachment and do some wet sanding. So looking at this now after doing the wet sanding, you'd almost think we've gone backwards. They look hazy again, what's the big deal? Well, this is actually what you're after. See, the surface now looks really hazy because of all the sanding marks, but it is exceptionally smooth, which means we're on to the next step. That next step is the 3000 grit sandpaper. Now running your finger across this, I mean, it's just like, you can hear that friction, there's a tiny bit there, but it is so gentle. And that's because it's more like a finishing pad. I mean, you could, almost wet sand, your, you probably wet sand your paint with this stuff to get imperfections out of your paintwork. That's how soft this is. So at this point we've knocked down headlights with the super fine 3000 grit sandpaper and I mean these things look awful but they're exceptionally smooth. Now as you could probably guess the last step is, well, more polishing. So let's hit it again and see what we come up with. All right, so I've hit the headlights with a couple rounds of polishing, and I mean, they are as smooth as glass. Now, unfortunately, they aren't quite as crystal clear as glass, but obviously a massive improvement. Let's do a 50-50 shot looking at the other side of the car that has not been corrected in any way, so you can get a real feel for the difference side to side. I'm playing around the light behind the camera, so you can kind of see different ways the light is it hitting the headlights to affect how it looks because it often affects what you see in the plastic lens. And to me, the difference is clear as day. All right, so I've gone ahead and wrapped up uh, the job on this headlight and went and done the passenger side as well. And just look at the results. Um, really pleased with how this kit uh, came out. Obviously it's a massive improvement over how the car looked about half an hour ago. As I cut to the process shots of me doing the passenger side light, uh, I wanted to do that in stages, take pictures of each individual stage, because at first I was convinced that the polishing ball, you know, that first step, that did 90% of the work in my opinion. But as I went and redid the passenger side step by step, I went and saw that in this case, these Honda lights are notorious for fading. Uh, the wet sanding and then dry sanding the 3000 grit, and then the final multiple stages of polish is absolutely what's required getting this excellent result. Uh, really pleased with that. Though, it's worth noting in the case of my car in particular, the passenger side light is never gonna look perfect, especially kind of where the high beam sits on this car, and that's actually my fault. The first time I ever polished the headlights in this car actually uh, burned through that section of the passenger light with sandpaper, I went a little too aggressive. So that's never gonna look perfect ever again. But overall, really pleased. And if you have about 25 bucks to spend on this kit and you have a power drill, um, one, it's a piece of cake, two, it's very effective, and three, at that price point, 25 bucks, it makes the car look so much better. Um, yeah, so go check it out at your local auto parts store. Um, not much more else to say than that. The results speak for themselves. So thank you very much for watching this little review of the Mother's New Lens Headlight Polishing Kit. I hope this has been helpful to you in some way. If you've not already, please do uh, subscribe to this channel. It absolutely helps me out in future doing for, for doing more videos. Can't even speak there. Sorry, it's quite late at night. Uh, but yeah, please do subscribe and stay tuned for more videos uh, involving my cars, other people's cars, and all manner of car content. Alright, so thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye.